So you sat outside the pub, you know, nice beer in your hand, nice sunny day, and someone rocks up in a nice Porsche, and you just think to yourself, oh, look at this flash so-and-so rocking up in his sports car. But you just think to yourself, well, you know what? Good luck to you, crack on. But that sort of guy, <laughs> I don't know where I'm really going with this. That sort of guy will rock up at the range with one of these. <laughs> Trust me, he will. No, no offence to you guys that own one of these. It's just, I'm just a little bit envious, that's all. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Accuracy International AX. And just look at its beauty for a minute. Just pause the video and just draw for a minute, okay? Oh, yes, that's right. I think I'm in love. Right, guys, yes, this is the Accuracy International AX and what an absolute beauty it is. There is no denying it. I've always been a fan of the Accuracy International rifles. Just love them. I have got, I call it my Accuracy International, but it's, it's a... Uh, I'm going to say it with a bit of a croaky throat. Remington 700 in an Accuracy International stock stroke chassis. So, but it does look cool. A rolling footage. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It is what it is. It's a little bit out of date now, looking at this thing. Oh, God. I can feel a Partex coming on and a sold kidney, I reckon. Right then, guys. Accuracy International AX, this one is in 308 Winchester. This is a multi-caliber rifle platform, so you can swap out calibers. Available in 308, which is what we have on the table. 338 Lapua Magnum and 300 Win Mag. Weighing in, wait for it, 15 pounds or 6.8 kilograms. That is unscoped length is 1,250 millimeters or 180, sorry, 1,250 millimeters. The height of it without a scope is 185 millimeters and the width of it is 100 millimeters. Sorry, I'm not, I've sort of, I've gone metric, but I'm gonna go back into Imperial in a minute, like now. Barrel length, 27 inches. Uh, the fore end is 16 inches, I think I've got that right. It is all Cerakoted in this awesome finish. It is just, it's just sexy as hell and it? it's like a flat dark earthy type of collar. Uh, right side folding stock, I'll show you more about that in a minute. 30 MOA built into the rail, you get one times or one 10 round magazine. Now, my first impressions when I seen this uh, was, wow. And then I was like, oh, really? Key mod? But then I had to sort of draw my horns in. It's not actually key mod, although it looks like key mod, very similar to key mod, but Accuracy International call it key slot. So we'll let them get away with that, I think. And they're a British company, so thumbs up there. So yeah, I'm always a bit of a fan of, well, I'm always, I am a fan of uh, M-Lock, but I do like, it's kind of weird, I do like the look of a key mod or key slot. So, but this isn't key mod, it's key slot and it's Accuracy International's own. So I've not used it, I've not bolted anything on, but at the end of the day, do you know what? I don't really care how you fit stuff on. If it looks good and it works, and once you put the stuff on that you need, that's it anyway unless you're taking stuff on and off, on and off, on and off all the time, don't, don't really worry about it. But I think that looks totally cool, totally cool. So it has the rack approval, okay? Stamped there and then. Right, let's take a look at this thing. So a closer look in a full rack and load style. First of all, if just in case you're wondering, this is wearing an Element Titan scope. Okay, it's quite a big scope. It's a five, I've got to remind myself, it's a five to 25 times 50. 56, in fact. First focal plane, uh, it's got the dirty reticle or the Christmas tree reticle in it. Absolutely excellent, excellent scope, really is. 
reason why I've got these big mounts on here is because it's a big scope and uh, yeah, I struggled. My, my usual scope mounts, I'd set them up and I couldn't even get the, the scope on because it was just touching the rail because this has a full length rail. So, so there you go. Right then, God, where do we start with this thing? Because oh, my arms are gonna get a workout showing you this thing. Let's show you the mag, first of all, okay. So believe it or not, it's an Accuracy International compatible magazine. Well, it's one of their own, because it has their stamp on there. I think these are steel, pretty sure they are. Yep, steel, magnet check. Tough, durable. They do exactly what they say, well, what it says on the tin. You know, the military wouldn't use these things if they, you know, didn't do what they, what it said on the tin. Right, let's take this from oh, the stock end, because there's quite a bit to talk about the stock end. So as you can see, fully adjustable, okay? You can, if you turn this thing here, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, one handed, there we go. You can turn that, adjust that however you want. And it's got like this, um, you can see it that side, it's like a textured finish there. It's almost like a rubberized, it's almost like grip tape to sort of lock that thing in. But look at, look at the capability of that thing. You can literally put that wherever you want it and lock it in place. What an excellent feature. Spaces, you can get spaces to adjust the length of pull. The recoil pad or butt pad is soft rubber, really nice, textured as well. Really like that, very, very cool. You've got a stock hook there so you can sort of pull this thing in. I think you can fit monopods to this because it has got that Picatinny rail. So I guess if you didn't want that, you could just put a, a monopod on there. You can adjust the cheek piece as well, just by undoing that and then try and do it one-handed, good luck. Let's try and pull that up. There we go, you can adjust it and just tighten it. No tools required for that. Uh, this is all aluminium here. Let's just give it the magnet test. All aluminium. Uh, the actual, well, we've got the magnet out, the actual, Action is all steel, okay? Hand guard is aluminium. And the bottom metal is aluminium. Okay, just thought I'd throw that out there. My scientific way of uh, telling what metals are. Um, this is polymer, the cheek piece. Really like it, ambidextrous. As you know, I'm a lefty, so um, it, this gun fitted me fitting me really well, really well. Very, very comfortable to shoot. As you can see in the footage, I'm shooting this off my Coldwell lead sled, and it was just a joy to shoot, an absolute joy to shoot. So, so comfortable, really nice. Back to the start. QD mounts there, either side, as you can see. Uh, more adjustment here, okay? So you can, again, just the, adjust the length of pull there lot and everything is just rock solid there everything interfaces really well so it's just just a stunning rifle oh god i'm in love with it i am in love with it i mean if i was to get one of these i don't know what's i don't know i've got to calculate in the the cost of a divorce as well so I'm gonna have to weigh that up. So right hand folding stock as well. Uh, let's just give this, and now it's a little bit stiff with this rifle being a new one. Oh God, how am I supposed to do this on camera? Guys, I bet you guys at home are just laughing your asses off right now. There we go. So you press that button there and then the rifle folds up and oh god it just feels totally the quality of this rifle is just well it makes me feel proud to be british that's all i'm going to say okay so there is the stock folded to make this thing you know for easier storage carriage you know if you're, if you're military then 
I'm pretty sure you'll appreciate the folding stock. Obviously you can leave the bolt in like that and the stock folds up neatly over the uh, bolt handle there. So really, really great. When you fold the stock up on this, that little, don't know what you call it, don't know what, I don't know what the name is for that, but it interfaces into there. So it sort of just goes into that plastic stroke rubber bit. I don't know if you can really see it. Oh, guys, you guys are giving me a workout. See it there. So that sort of locks everything in. You haven't got to sort of pull anything or press anything to sort of release the stock. So let's fold that back. And that pretty much is your stock. Really, really nice. Loads of adjustment. All the adjustment you need. Okay, all the adjustment you need. And then moving on, let's spin it round to another angle. So, oh, let's see if I can get comfy with this guy. There we go, there we go. I can prop it up on one of my light stands. So moving on to the pistol grip area. So this is all polymer. Uh, you can change out the back straps on the pistol grip to make them bigger, smaller, to suit you basically. But I found that perfect for me. All this is polymer. You've got Accuracy International's um, logo here, which is really, really lovely. Here is your trigger guard here, all polymer. Access there to adjust the trigger. The trigger is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. Guys, I've got to put this down. Oh, it's getting heavy. It's getting heavy. It's absolutely stunning, the trigger is, but we will give it a measure in a minute. And then let's have a look at the other side. So here is the other side of the action there. There's your bolt release button. Accuracy International England stamped on the side. God, it makes you so proud. What a stunning rifle. I mean, who, has anyone else in the world made a better rifle than the Accuracy International? No, no, they haven't. End of story, end of story. Okay, spinning it round again. Now the trigger, like I said, is just amazing. I've shown you the magazine. Let's take the magazine out. Uh, and there is your mag release. So that is your mag release. That is metal as well, which is quite nice. Wedding ring test there. And there is, I mean, look how thick the metal work is on this rifle. Look at that. There is no skimping on this rifle whatsoever. No skimping whatsoever. I like the way that they have tried to shave a bit of weight by sort of making this, um, you know, cutting a, a, quite a bit out of the, uh, the side of the receiver there. So obviously that has shaved a bit of weight. These sort of scalloped out bits here as well, again, has shaved weight. And then this actual fore end, I suppose you would call it the fore end here, is all polymer which is very nice too. And then we move on to the handguard. Oh guys. <gasps> moving on to the moving on to the handguard. Almost like an AR15 handguard pretty much, but it's all incorporated into uh, the receiver of this rifle with key slot, not key mod, full length Picatinny rail on the top, panels of Picatinny rail on the bottom in the, the six o'clock six position, nine o'clock and three o'clock position. So, and on the side ones, on the ones in the six o'clock, uh, sorry, on the ones in the nine o'clock and the three o'clock position, you have your QD attachments there, which is really, really cool. So you know, plenty of options to sling this rifle, which, you know, if you're, like I say, if you're military or doing anything like that to keep the world safe, then that is a great option. Uh, for the general sort of sportsman, 
uh, shooter, recreational shooter, competition shooter. I don't, I don't think you'd really sling this rifle, to be fair. Um, but, you know, whatever, each to his own, each to his own. And then moving on to the barrel. Now, all the techie data, I will throw in the details of this video because it would just go on forever, me trying to sort of give you all the real sort of um, techie info. But there is your barrel there. Um, and then moving on to this monster muzzle brake here. This thing really did do the job. An absolute gentle, gentle rifle to shoot. Uh, like I said, especially off my Coldwell lead sled, so gentle that that brake really does get rid of all the uh, the gases in the right direction. But then, unless you're sort of shooting next to me, shooting shooting this, you won't want to be by the side of it. It does sort of let off steam a little bit to the side, but really, really cool there. It is threaded, so I'm not sure. I'll have to check if. Accuracy International have like their own sound moderators that incorporate onto that. I'm not really not really sure if I'm perfectly honest, uh, but that uh, that break is very very effective, very effective indeed. So let's have let's take the bolt out. Let's give it have a closer look at the bolt. So I've got to fold this stock again. We'll take out the bolt, have a closer look. If I can get it out, this is where it all fails on camera for rack. There we go. So there is your bolt. Look at that, guys. Seriously. There is, there is some serious thought that has gone into that, okay? Serious thought. And that you've got a safety catch actually on the bolt as well. Even the, sa even the safety catch is like just superbly engineered it's just there's nothing you cannot possibly not like about this rifle it's it's just impossible not to like anything on it you know i'm not a fan of i'm gonna say key mod but it's not key mod it's key slot it just looks amazing it looks amazing the operation of the bolt on this rifle is just second to none Super, super smooth. I had no issues operating this rifle. It was just an absolute joy to shoot. Everything just locked up tight. No, no issues whatsoever. And I chugged probably, I'd probably say about 80 or 90 rounds through this rifle with different flavors. And it just, it just ate everything I fed it. No hiccups, no problems with the magazine, no extraction issues, just work like a dream. You can decock it like this by pulling the trigger as you drop the uh, drop the bolt down. Safety catch, obviously you've got a cock loader indicator there. So if I just dry fire it, there you go, nice and easy. Safety catch, dead easy to operate. Let's cock it and give the trigger a pull. The trigger is so, so nice. It's one of the nicest triggers I've, I've, I've used on a rifle in quite a long time. And trust me, I use a lot of rifles, not just on camera either. Uh, and that is just, that is just stunning. It really is stunning. So let's give this trigger a pull. It's not, you know, amazingly scientific, these trigger scales aren't. They do give you a pretty good indication, but don't know how accurate they are. So let's give it a pulse. Two stage, like I said. Oh, look at that. Three pounds. Well, let's just call it four ounces. Should we give it another one? A four ounces, four pounds. Let's give it another one. God, it's a nice trigger. Oh, went a little bit over there. Let's just call it four pounds. That has not been sort of messed with by me. It is a demo gun, by the way, kindly on loan from Sportsman Gun Center here in the UK. Just, wow, wow. 
This, this rifle has got me drooling. Right then, there's no point in it looking as sexy as hell if it don't perform, okay? This thing performed. Trust me, this thing really did perform. Now, I chugged some crappy ammo through it first. Once I got it zeroed, Chug some crappy stuff through it. What did it? Well, it's not. It's not that bad, but you know, people sort of slag off PPU. But I chugged through some 145 grain PPU. Okay, chugged that stuff through. Got it zeroed on that. These were the groups I was getting. Excuse the state of the target. Okay, because it did get. Uh, it did get a little bit like screwed up and stuff. In fact, compared to some of my other ones, this one actually hasn't got any mud on it. So this was my grouping 100 yards with the PPU. Three shot groups. There's one. There's two. All right, they're not clover leaf. I know, I know this, but this is not expensive ammo. That was a pretty nice group. Mm, okay, so that was the PPU. And then I found in my testing, and I'm I'm not gonna lie guys, I didn't get it clover leafing, all right? Maybe I'm not that good a shot. But the and I did get I did get a two good groups on this one, okay. Okay, I did get two good groups. So I moved on to this before I sort of show them, yeah. Uh, I moved on to Hornaday. Tap ammunition, tactical application police ammunition, slightly heavier than that 145 grain PPU. This is the 168 grain ELD match. That was what I used on this target. I did re-zero in the middle target. Uh, so that was my first shot and then I sort of got my shizzle together, done a bit of dialing and there we go. And so it's just these four to show you. That one, mm, okay, uh, okay. I know, Rack, you should be doing a little bit better off your lead sled. But then, I kind of got it together then with that one. And then that one, I'm very, very happy with that. I know it's not clover leafed. I know this is factory ammo, but I'm pretty damn happy with that, okay? I'm pretty damn happy with that. So, it's damn accurate, okay? It's way more accurate than what I am. That is for sure. So does, you know, this rifle is gonna do the job. End of story, it is gonna do the job. Now, this thing isn't cheap. I'm not gonna give you a price, but uh, it's, it's gonna cost you about the same of as a small family car, let's just say. Okay, so if you are getting one of these rifles, or if you own one of these rifles, then enjoy, that is all I'm gonna say, enjoy, because it is a stunning work of art. But, you know, not everyone has got 7K here in the UK to spend on a rifle. Okay, but if you have, then, I think myself, I'd have one of these rather than say a Desert Tech. You know, no question, no question at all. This uh, this rifle, it, for me, it ticks all the boxes. And you know, and I'm I'm a lefty, so <laughs> it ain't even left-handed, and it still ticks all the boxes. I don't care. It's just stunning. But no, guys, if if this is something you are after, or you, just something you dream about. Oh, it is, it is what dreams have made of when it comes to rifle shooting. It is just, I think it is just the ultimate, um, tat should I, dare I say tactical target rifle. It's nothing beats it, you know. Bar Barrett's are nice, I ain't gonna lie, someone will jump in the, in the comments and say, whoa, what about Barrett's? Yeah. Without doubt, you know the Barretts are nice. I've used I've used several of them, but oh, this is just lovely. It's just lovely, and it's British. She's a she's a beautiful blue-eyed British girl, isn't she? Look at her. She's just stunning. She is stunning. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. That is Rack and Load. Thanks for watching. See ya.